New Zealand is proud of its innovative spirit, a spirit embraced by Vector Communications and Ericsson New Zealand. In 2005, Ericsson partnered with Vector Communications, a network operator pioneering high-performance network solutions and set to bring New Zealand's broadband networks into the 21st century. In doing so, they also changed how fibre broadband networks can be deployed. There were very unique challenges about building a network infrastructure project in Auckland and those are, have to do with the way that the city was originally built, the amount of space that it's left, the cost of traditional methodologies uh, and the available of skilled resource. Through the combined synergies of Vector Communications and Ericsson, they were able to overcome potential hurdles of price, environment, future-proofing and time of deploying a fibre network. It has been a challenging uh, project and we have had uh, a lot of problem solving to do together. Alongside Ericsson staff in Sweden and New Zealand, Victor Communications took Ericsson's ear-blown fibre technology and improved it to fit with New Zealand's and specifically Victor Communications' environment. I think the deployment of the Ericsson ABF has really helped Vector Communications from the perspective that we have really driven our costs of deployment down. Um, it is a competitive market and we need every edge that we can get to make sure that we can keep costs for our customers down and be competitive against incumbents. This network design is a world first and conforms to the latest ISO standards. The Ericsson Micronet and Ribbon Net ABF technology has enabled Vector Communications to separate the network build from connecting customers with fibre cable, ensuring that they only incur the fibre costs once they have a paying customer. We've been able to deliver um, great customer experience through really high speed broadband, but we've also been able to achieve those operational benefits both from a cost perspective and just efficiencies and rollout speed and show a best practice in terms of international. This combined innovation is more manageable and scalable through ease of service and upgrades, low damage to fibre during installation, less fusion splice points, less installation time and future expansion is made simple. The deployment also means less disruption to communities than traditional fibre network deployment methods. Less than a year after developing this ABF technique, Vector Communications identified an opportunity to help provide Auckland's North Shore schools, council and libraries with true broadband through its network. The opportunity came when New Zealand's Ministry of Economic Development launched the Broadband Challenge last year to ensure New Zealand is a world leader in using information and technology to realise our economic, environmental, social and cultural goals. It's about people and their ability to connect to the things that matter to them. We share a lot of files at school, we send a lot of things to whether it be to our teachers and to conferences or just um, if we're in a group. Um, sending files to each other saying, oh, does this need more work or does it need changing? So yeah, it's a good thing that we have the um, fast network because we can get things done a, um, a lot more faster. Using the newly created deployment methods, Vector Communications built the North Shore Education and Access Loop Network in less than six months. In addition, the cost savings from the ABF deployment technique enabled Vector to connect even more schools into the network than originally budgeted for. Establishing true broadband for 26,000 students, the network combined with innovative applications and services is changing the way students are learning. The first um, most positive thing about coming on the network was simply the speed. Uh, a big constraint for us was how many people we could get online at once and how fast access we could get to various sources uh, of information, content, rich media, multimedia websites and so forth. And, and for us really we were constrained. Now we have access to a, a whole community of people out there who are also on true broadband. Experts, uh, perhaps professors at universities, and uh, the end product is better, better teaching, better learning, and uh, a great, great positive experience for our students. The partnership of Victor Communications and Ericsson has enabled the development of a future-proof solution for the growing needs of high-speed broadband in New Zealand.